Hey guys, welcome to my channel Success Sequence. Continuing with our previous series on as to how to analyze option chain data like a pro, and today we are going to learn how to uh, find out the option chain activity range and uh, how to interpret it. So basically, we have seen in our previous video what is the open interest, what is the volume, and today we are going to uh, review it a bit, and then we go, uh, then we'll go and understand in detail how to interpret. Uh, all those things and finally find out the option chain activity range and how to monitor it daily to get the sentiments if you combine our analysis with the uh, if you combine this option chain data analysis with our candlestick analysis you will be able to get better insight into the market activity and then and thereby you can take your trades accordingly so uh, first of all uh, disclaimer from my side whatever i am going to teach is my own understanding and explanation apart from that i have read many books so from that i have come i have derived all this understanding so i basically whenever i am taking a trade i consider all those aspects to uh, to make more accurate trades so this things works for me and uh, it might not work for you so if you are trading considering all those analysis uh, you will be solely responsible i will not be responsible because see i am here to tell you that see guys these are the things that works for me you can try it but that will be on on your own risk so that is a disclaimer from my side and uh, without wasting much time let's begin our analysis on option chain data so in our previous uh, two uh, videos we have seen what are the option what what, what is the open interest so basically open interest means in a simple language outstanding contracts now outstanding contracts between whom so between a buyer and a seller so buyer and a seller enters uh, into a contract so it uh, creates a transaction so whenever the uh, transaction happens then not be uh, that that is not necessary that create in uh, open interest because open interest changes every time uh, changes uh, with each transaction but uh, we'll see uh, what are the particular two cases uh, in which in only which uh, only those two cases the open interest will change otherwise volume will change with every transaction so open interest uh, we have understood that is uh, that is an outstanding contracts volume is a transaction in a simple mean now let us understand how the change in open interest happens so guys there are only two cases once one is that increase in open interest and another is a decrease in open interest so when a new player enters into the market that is a we can see a fresh build up and uh, in particular strike price uh, in that case the open interest will increase uh, i am saying a new player it's not an existing player if existing player uh, is uh, selling and buying a contract within themselves the open interest will remain same because the contract is just exchanging hands and no new contracts are being created so in that case there will be no change in open interest the open interest will change and will increase only when the new players enter into the market another case is a decrease in open interest uh, it's a very simple thing when settlement happens the person uh, covers its position then the, there will be a change in open interest so suppose someone has bought a contract and someone has a sold contract so now the person who has bought the contract now will sell it and the person who has sold the contract will now buy it so in that case the transaction will reverse and that contract comes to an end and thereby there will be a decrease in open interest another aspect uh, of option chain activity is a volume volume in its most simple sense means liquidity volume means the uh, uh, total of the transaction i mean uh, if at a particular strike price you are you are seeing that there are volume is increasing so that means that the uh, persons or peoples are buying and selling at that strike prices more fre uh, quite frequently than any other strike prices so that is a volume it shows the liquidity liquidity means uh, if you buy and sell you will be there are since there are more players active into that strike price there are a uh, more chances that you will be able to find a uh, buying or selling opportunity at uh, in that uh, particular strike price so in a volume uh, there will be no accumulation so if you see today what are the volumes are there there will be there and there will be uh, they will not be carried forward to the next day so whatever the volume you are seeing will be will be uh, for that particular day only but in case of open interest open interest gets accumulated and that's why it changes every day uh, change uh, what do i mean by changes increase and decrease so now uh, 
we did understand what are the open interest what is the volume what is the change in open interest now let us come to the interpretation part so if you see a highest open interest at particular strike price what does it what does it mean so if you are seeing a highest open interest build up in particular strike price uh, say for instance uh, you see that uh, nifty 9100 call option has the highest open interest i'm just giving you an example uh, and it's a call uh, option so that means a resistance so say for example market is trading at 8800 and you are seeing that the open interest has um, there is a highest open interest at a strike price of 9100 that means that if the prices uh, will reach to that 9100 mark there are chances that the contract will get reversed i mean the person who have made the position might reverse their position because the person the person who has bought the contract will be making profit will cover their pro position will uh, book the profit and say someone has sold the contract so there might they will be incurring losses and in that case they also reverse their position so lot of buying and selling will happen uh, once the uh, spot price will reach to the uh, strike price with the highest open interest so that that's why they call a resistance same is the thing with the put option if you see a highest open interest build up at particular put options uh, strike price that uh, strike price uh, may act as a support so that is what uh, uh, we can understand about the open interest build up with highest in number so now let's move ahead and see uh, what does that mean with the strike price uh, having a highest change in open interest so see if you uh, look at the option chain data and you find out that what is the strike price where the highest change in open interest has happened so if I say for example continuing with our nifty example uh, nifty cash nifty spot is 8900 and you see that uh, 9100 strike price has the highest change in open interest so that does mean that the the sentiments are sentiments are changing because uh, it's very uh, it's a pretty common sense why a person will make or buy and sell transaction at a 9100 strike price when the uh, prevailing market price in the in the current market price is 8000 because they are expecting the market to come to that level so there are some other aspects also we'll look that into uh, some other video but just for the simplicity purpose if someone is buying at a 9000 why 9100 strike price and if the current market price is at 8800 they are definitely expecting the price to reach up from 8800 level towards the 9100 uh, strike price so when you whenever you see the change in open interest being highest at particular strike price that means the sentiments are moving in that direction so if you see a highest uh, change in open interest at put side you can uh, infer that uh, the prices may move or might move towards that particular uh, uh, put strike price so i am saying might may move or might move that is not sure however we can confirm that with a reasonable level of accuracy that that i will show you in my upcoming video so that is uh, so that is thing with the change in uh, open interest uh, so far we have seen the what does it mean when the strike price is having highest change in open interest and uh, highest open interest itself so guys if you make these two uh, things uh, in a con take, take these two things in a combination you will be able to find out that see if uh, there is a 9100 strike price with highest change in open interest and highest change highest open interest uh, also so that does mean that the uh, open interest is having a strong tilt I mean uh, prices may uh, prices will have a higher probability of moving into that direction because the strike price has already uh, seen a higher build up and uh, after that build up the final closing balance of that uh, open interest is also highest uh, meaning that uh, sentiments are moving towards that particular strike price so now let us look at the prices so this price part is very tricky and it is the most important part if you under analyze the option chain data so if you see there are two uh, options we are having in a uh, option chain data that is a call option and a put option so if the price of a call option goes up the sentiments will uh, turn uh, bullish and if the call prices drops or goes down the sentiments can be read, read as a uh, bearish 
same case is with the put option if the prices of a put option goes up the market sentiments can be taken as a bearish and in case they goes down the sentiments can be taken as a bullish so it's a pretty basic uh, common sense thing so uh, that's what uh, we need to understand it but most of the people confuse them, themselves with this uh, option uh, with this uh, with this price concept so you better understand it very clearly uh, and for that how to clearly understand it uh, just uh, take an example of call option so whenever someone buys a call option they want the prices to go up so if the price of a call option increases uh, the person who has bought a call option is uh, is uh, coming is uh, i mean uh, the person who has purchased a call option uh, uh, is turning right i mean so the prices has gone up the sentiments has increased sentiments has moved towards the call option side so we can infer that the if there is an increase in a call uh, option price the sentiments can be taken as a bullish and same case if the prices of a call option drops a person who has purchased the call option assuming that the market will go up and now the price the market has uh, now the market is going down so that means the person has proved himself wrong and the prices are now going down so it can be taken as a bearish so this is basically i am giving you very silly example but uh, people do understand the uh, concept like this so that's why i am giving the example so same is the case with the put option if you purchase a put option you want the prices to go down so if the prices go down the put option price will increase so definitely if the price of put option is increasing the market is going down so thereby resulting in a bearish sentiments and if the prices of a put option drops that means the market must have gone up so that results into a bullish sentiment now the most important part how to find out option activity range so what do i mean by option activity range so if you see a nifty does not move in a uh, particular uh, upside or downside i mean uh, nifty does not move in a straight line it can uh, not go always up and it cannot always go down so what it does it it does move in a range so if you are able to find out that range uh, you can em employ various option strategies to make money out of the market so let us understand how i find out the option activity range uh, by doing these simple things so to find out option activity range you need to do three things first find out the strike uh, find out the strike prices with the maximum open interest so for you do that for the call option and put option both then find out the maximum change in open interest for the call option and the put option then find out the maximum volume for the call option and the put option now list all the strike prices uh, against this uh, maximum change uh, against each particular item and take highest of all uh, and that will act as a upper range and take the lowest of all and it will act as a lower range so if you find out the option activity range by doing this analysis what you will see this uh, what you will find that if the market if there are uh, no fresh position is uh, being built up or no uh, or if you can say that uh, no uh, position are being exist uh, exist uh, i mean person are not existing their uh, ex uh, current position you will find that this option chain uh, activity range will hold true in most of the cases so you can use this analysis and it is very effective i am using it for past uh, one to two years and uh, it is doing almost uh, right in most of the cases but what happens is it changes every day so say if you find out uh, open interest change in open interest and volume for today uh, there might be a chances that uh, if you find out the next day the open interest uh, the maximum change in open interest might have taken place at some other another strike price or change in open interest uh, might have taken some other uh, strike price and same is the case with the volume so you need to check it each and every day so if you find uh, the range uh, consistent and uh, it does not if you find that the range is uh, proving to be of a, con a continuity and it is not changing uh, very much you can uh, safely infer that the uh, nifty or the underlying asset is expected to remain with that change but if you find that uh, it is changing a quite bit i mean say you have find out that the for uh, for example if you have seen that uh, current 
ऑप्शन चेन रेंज ऑफ अ निफ्टी इज नाइन थाउजेंड सिक्स टू नाइन थाउजेंड वन सो दैट इज वॉट आई कैन फाउंड आउट बाय एनालाइजिंग द टूडेज ऑप्शन चेन डेटा इफ टुमोरो आई गो देर एंड चेक चेक द ऑप्शन चेन डेटा द Uh, i can uh, also uh, see the changes in option chain data um, I, i also may find that now the option chain act, uh, option chain range has uh, uh, reduced from uh, 9600 to 9500 and the lower level has reduced from 9100 to 9000 so that is a possibility so if you monitor it you will be able to find out the sentiments so if the option chain activity range is shrinking so you can expect a fair amount of lower volatility and if it, it if it is expanding you can expect a higher volatility because if it is shrinking the uh, max the change uh, in the strike the probability of change in the strike prices are getting limited so you can expect it uh, so you can expect a low volatility and if you find that the uh, option chain uh, range is increasing you can uh, safely infer that there there are more uh, strike prices now into the picture so any uh, so nifty can assume any strike prices uh, out of the available strike prices so you can expect a fair amount of higher volatility so the by doing this you can find out your option chain activity so in today's video we have uh, revised what is open interest what is volume what is change in open interest uh, how to anal- how to analyze uh, uh, option chain data by looking at the uh, strike price with the highest open interest highest change in open interest the you can do the you have to do it for the both the options for call option and put option and then i then we finally saw that how to find out the option activity range by Uh, just following three simple step and uh, you can monitor it daily to find out whether it is shrinking expanding or uh, or it is uh, running stable so that's it for the today's video guys if you like my video please hit the like button if you have any comment or doubt you can uh, message me or you can uh, uh, drop your question in the uh, comment uh, section of the video or if you really like my video share it with your friends and uh, Subscribe to my channel for regular updates. Thank you.